Hey everyone, it's Vincent from Upright Health. Today, I'm gonna share with you how I fixed my knee pain that came from deadlifting. I wanna show you how I figured it out, I'm gonna show you the action steps that I took, and I'm gonna show you the principles that I used so that regardless of where your knee pain comes from, you can walk away from this video with a better idea on how to fix it. So I first began experiencing knee pain when I started trying to deadlift with my toes completely forward. Prior to that, I had been deadlifting with my toes slightly outward like this. And also, it never felt that comfortable to, to stand completely uh, toes forward for me. So I took a look at what my kneecaps were doing. My right kneecap, it was completely in the center of my thigh. See, here are the edges of my right thigh, and here is my kneecap. It's right in the center. But my left one, at the time, it was more along the lateral edge of my thigh. So here are the edges of my thigh and here's my kneecap. Here is the difference uh, if I'm trying to copy what I was doing before. So that was my first clue. My second clue was that every time I deadlifted with my toes completely straight, instead of both kneecaps staying right in the middle like so, the left one would turn out at the very top. It would be whoop, whoop. So that was my second clue. My third clue came from understanding how the knee works. Very simply, the knee is only supposed to flex and extend. It can do some rotation, it can do some abduction, some adduction, but mainly the knee is supposed to just flex and extend. It's the hip and the ankle that are supposed to do all those other crazy motions. So, what happens if the hip or the ankle can't uh, rotate properly? Well, the body's gonna force the knee to do it, and that was my guess as to what was going on. So to test out my theory, I wanted to take a look at my hip external rotators. What do they do? They turn the entire thigh bone like this, right? but only the thigh bone. So that means if I plant my left foot with my toes pointed straight like this, but my thigh bone cannot turn inward enough to accommodate that forward knee position, then my kneecap is going to be stuck out here and that is going to strain it. So since my hunch was that my left hip joint was stuck in external rotation and or abduction, I simply used a stretch that put it in the exact opposite direction. I used the bent over hip mobilization. So I take my left leg across it over on my body like so, I plant the foot and make sure it doesn't come up like so, right? I plant the foot, I create some internal rotation tension, and then I lean further into my left side hip, which causes the hip to go further into adduction, right? So if my hip is stuck out here, I take in the exact opposite direction to stretch out whatever is tight. So I knew I was on to something because after the first time I did that stretch, my knee felt better than it had in months. So then I did the stretch obsessively, dozens of times a day for 30 seconds to minutes at a time. And I'm telling you that exactly because I need you to know that in order to reverse months, years, decades of bad movement habits that cause you pain, you need to be aggressive with fixing it. But I knew that that was not all I needed to do in order to fix my knee pain. How? because I needed a ton of maintenance work just to keep it happy. It is my belief that good movement does not cause pain. So if you're still in pain, if you need to do a ton of foam rolling, a ton of stretching just to keep your joints happy, then there is something inherently flawed about the way you move that requires you to have to do so much maintenance work just to keep it happy. Good movement is maintenance work. So if stretching out the tight muscles that pull my femur this way was not enough to keep my knee perfectly in line in everyday life, then I wanted to look at strengthening the muscles that pull my knee back in line. All right, stretch out the tight muscles and strengthen the weaker ones so that the joint gets centrated again. The exercise that I used to strengthen this movement was the side-lying adductor lift. I start with my knee pointed towards the ceiling, right? So 
internal rotation, and then I lift the entire leg. Internally rotate and lift. And again, I would do this exercise at every training session for warm up, for cool down, uh, when I get home and relax and watch TV, right? I would do this at every chance that I got because you need to be aggressive to produce lasting change against habits that you've built over months, years, and decades. And those were the two exercises that I used to fix my knee pain. After that, the only thing that I needed to do to keep me pain-free in the knee was make sure that my knee does not come out like this whenever I go to deadlift with toes pointed forward or walk around the neighborhood with toes pointed forward. And I'm making this point because a lot of people are under the assumption that all you need to do is stretch some stuff and strengthen some stuff. Like, that's all you need to do. Well, I'm telling you, there is another component of it, and that is creating new movement habits on top of the new muscle abilities that you have, right? If this guy gets really stretched out and this guy gets really strong, but I'm still relying on this old bad habit, well, my knee is still going to be in pain. So I need to be mindful of my movement, writing a new movement pattern over the old bad one until this new good one becomes the default one. So that concludes my story about my knee pain. Now let's talk about principles because there may be many, many different sources of knee pain, but they all boil down to following the same principles. Principle number one, understand the function of the knee. I said this earlier, the knee is mainly supposed to flex and extend. It can do a little bit of rotation, it can do a little bit of adduction and abduction, but if it does it excessively for whatever reason, then you got issues, you're gonna run into pain. Why is this? Take a look at the adjacent joints. This is principle number two. Take a look at the joints that are next to the source of pain. Look at what they may be deficient in or overactive in, right? Because if you can't get proper rotation at the hip or the ankle, then the knee is stuck in the middle and it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to twist in a way that it doesn't want to twist. So two principles, understand the function of the knee and take a look at the joints adjacent to the source of pain. And that is the video, guys. Did you find it helpful? Did you want me to go more into detail about anything? Do you want to hear more case studies like this? Leave a comment below, click the like button, click subscribe, and check the description box for more helpful links. And as always, remember that pain sucks, life shouldn't.